Okay, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be walking around a 1990 1500 pickup truck. This one's got an LS motor under the hood. Pretty sweet setup. It's got an aftermarket hood on it. We're gonna be shutting down towards the end of the video, checking it out. But I'm gonna be walking around, pointing out any kind of flaws. That way you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. This one's got a set of US mags on it. Pretty decent paint job. We'll be getting up close and personal trying to find the flaws though. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos like this every day of rides for sale. Generally we sell the old classics, American muscle cars. And of course y'all know all the cars have been going up for the last 20 years. And it seems like since coronavirus, they've actually went up a lot more. I had a lot of comments saying, oh, the prices are higher. Well. At the same time, we are buying better cars. We're buying nicer cars. So be sure to pay attention to the details here. When you got matching numbers and all the paperwork and true SS cars, yeah, the price is gonna go up. <laughs> but I just figured I'd knock that out of the way. We're gonna be walking around this, pointing out any kind of flaws, that way you know what you're getting. Look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. I do have financing, I do have shipping available. So we're gonna get started here. I really like these old trucks. This was actually one of my first trucks, and I believe I had a 91 model. It wasn't this nice, but. This one does have a few chips and stuff in the front end. You can see it from the road. It's a lot of chips coming from the road and stuff, just rocks kicking up, bugs. A little wax on there. I guess the last guy left some wax. The grill is in great shape. Fairly new headlights. And of course the LS motor is nice to have. Very reliable. Nice little Vortec in there. Let's run down the side of this truck. See some more wax. Tires are in great shape coming up over the fenders. Real light scratch right there. I don't feel it in the side of the truck, but you can see it. So should easily wipe off. A couple little chips and scratches on the bottom from the road where those tires there are kicking up rocks. And you got some little bumps in the door there at the bottom. Exhaust kicked out to the side. Nice touch. Coming back the mid section here, we do got a little bit of a uh, chip in the paint there. A little scratch. Coming down this mid section little scuff mark there I think they may have tried to wax something out and it caused a little bit of scratches that should buff out black shows everything it's pretty cool looking over the front windshield it's in good shape Coming down the bed, even the inside of the bed is in good shape. It does have some light marks up here on top. It looks like they touched up an area right here, maybe where it's chipping, and they tried to blend it. They actually did a decent job, because you stand about right here and you can't even see it. Good deal. Looking in the bed, it's nice and clean. This one hasn't been all beat up, like most of them. They got tent on uh, the back window there. It looks fairly new, fresh. Checking out the tailgate back here. I see some light scratches in the back, but I don't feel them in the paint either. Try to make them pop up. There's a chip right here in the middle of the tailgate. And there was a chip here as well. Them little light scratches down there. I can feel that one in the paint. That one won't come out, but this one up here will.
All right, let's go down the lower portion again. We'll come back to midsection. There's some chips right there by the tail light. Hitting this lower portion. Great tires on the rear. Really like these wheels. Got a few chips there. A couple chips in the corner there and at the bottom of the door. A little bubble in the paint. Coming on up. Extra wax left on there. Bet somebody did a hand wax on this one. Because they kind of left it all over. They probably did it right before they sold it to us. Look at it right off. Wiped it right off. Coming back towards the midsection. I turn around, but of course, my shadow is all in the way right now. <laughs> There's some real light, fine scratches. I'm telling you, this stuff's just sitting right on top of the paint, so it's a good thing that they're not cut in. What is this? Same with these. Can y'all see that in the video? I'm trying to make it pop up. Yeah, you can see it at this angle. Okay, keep on moving down the mid section here. A little light spot there in the paint. Of course, it starts going away as soon as you rub on it. Just need some TLC here. Definitely did my share of buffing back in the day. And all this stuff right here. If you spend some time on it, it'll all disappear. Even up there. There's some overspray right here. You hear it? All right. Okay, we've made it around the outside of this truck. Now we're gonna go ahead and check the interior out. We'll get her started up and check the undercarriage. So somebody's redone the bench seat in here. It looks new, nice and clean. Headliner, same way. Dash, not cracked up. Let's check under this before I say that. <laughs> no, it's not all cracked up. We'll go ahead and just turn the key. Got a nice radio in there with a touch screen. Door panel's not in bad shape. It's not all beat up. Check the bottom of the door there. Checking the jams all the way around. The weather stripping looks fairly new. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's actually got the same shifter as my old truck. B&M shift. Brings back some memories. It is showing uh, showing the mileage that is on the dash here. 5,276. Engine temperature is still down. Oil pressure's up and working. And the gas is pegged out. As we're driving down the road, I'll watch that and see if it starts floating. If I can see the needle coming back. Let's try. AC works, I heard a compressor just kick on. We'll give it a second to cool down. Of course, it's 50 degrees a day, so it shouldn't take too long. We do have the face of the radio in the office. Let's try the horn. It works. And I'll hit the windshield wipers when I drop the hood down, because it looks like it's gonna hit. Actually, just check for the windshield wipers in the test drive video because I'm probably going to end up forgetting about them. So what we will do, hit the lights and the turn signals.
the other switch. Check the other side. Yeah, it's still on. And hey, check. Windshield wipers. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give you some undercarriage shots. We're going to start up here in the front, go all the way around this truck, and then I'm going to take her down the road for the test drive. Be sure to watch the test drive video. It, uh, it should pop up the last 30 seconds of this one. All right, guys, let's look under it. Okay, I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that subscribe button. I post videos pretty much daily. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories, and close to 100 detailed pictures of this truck. We update the website with new cars every Monday. We generally sell, you know, 40 to 60 cars a month up here. So we only keep about 30 to 40 in stock every week. So be checking for those updates on Mondays. We'll upload pretty much an average of 10 cars a week. Of course, we broke that record by putting 25 on on the 4th and 15 on last week. And of course, this week we only got five on. We're actually having a little bit of trouble finding these cars. Everybody's got their prices so high. So we're just kind of picking them up as we go. I know we got about five new cars in today alone. Um, should be some good pieces for the website and what i was regarding at the beginning of the video i mean prices are going to go up they do that every year there's no control on our end for that reason we don't jack the prices up here we price them to sell but we have been buying true ss cars uh real gto sitting here with a matching number block and a lot of that kind of stuff that will drive the price up compared to some of the Chevelles that we were buying before that were uh, just 350 motor crate motors automatic Malibu cars and we were selling them for 18 to 20 and we will get more of those don't worry we'll get plenty of those we're just having a hard time finding those at the moment Chevelles are our hottest seller and uh, every time we pick one up it's usually gone within a couple days so We'll do our best to get them out there. I'll try to make these videos as fast as I can. In the meantime, check every Monday on maplemotors.com and see what our current inventory is. I do appreciate y'all's patience, but it's about time for a test drive. So go ahead, click that test drive video and I'll see you soon. Later guys.